Hey guys, it's Jerry McManus from Keller Williams, and we're here to discuss a very, very hot topic here in the real estate market. And the question is this, the person who is selling their home, should they offer a percentage commission to the buyer's broker for the sale of their home? One of the things that I always like looking at are stories or personal anecdotes that have happened in my career to help me to be able to answer some of those questions when talking to my clients. And it reminds me of an incident that had happened a number years ago back in the last real estate boom and it involved three different houses all within literally a stone's throw of one another and each of the houses was actually the exact same model and pretty much the same condition which is mind-boggling they did not all have the same features though one of the houses had an in-ground pool but the house that had the pool in another house were represented by what we called in the business a discount broker and the other house that was represented by me was a full service broker and full commission broker. So what happened to these three homes? The first home that was had a full commission offered sold for $238,000. The second home that had an in-ground pool, same style home, sold for $189,000. And the third house that was just like literally right around the corner sold for $199,000. And that was almost the spinning image of the house that I had sold for $238,000. Now, why is it that three houses in the same general condition and in the exact same area can sell for such a huge difference. The only thing I could see was the commission offered, is that in those cases, you had discount brokerage commission that was offered and that negatively affected that house and that seller's ability to draw the best agents and the, and the highest number of buyers. What that really did was, is that lowered the net proceeds of the sale of the sellers of each of those homes. Because a lot of times, like we we're talking about in this and prior videos, is that there is a perception in the market that when you sell a house, it is a zero sum game. That every agent is gonna sell for the same number and it's just a question of beating up the real estate agent for their commission. And I'm here to tell you that in about 30 to 40% of the market that I have seen even recently is that there's a number of homes that are being undersold. And then the commission part is also one of those things that is just an expense, that it is, it's a cost of doing business. And the reality what is, is that you as a seller should not be worried so much about what a real estate agent makes so much as what you are gonna walk away with. There's a sheet that is available to each of the agents and it's called a estimated net proceed sheet for the seller so that you'll be able to see how much money you walk away with. That is an exercise that I absolutely love doing with my sellers because really it does is it clears out all the fog and, it be, and it's, you're able to see exactly how does all the terms and conditions of, of the agreement of sale, how does that affect you? But I assure you of this, that the ability to attract good agents, the numbers of showings, and the best buyers can be correlated to what is offered as a co-op fee. But I can only share with what it is that I have learned and what I have seen in my 20 year career. But that's a conversation that we need to have for another day. So please feel free to reach out to me and have this discussion. My number is 856-373-3537. And please, for the viewers, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that we can stay in touch. And thanks again for sharing some time with us. See you on the next video. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell, this way we can stay connected. Here's my contact information should you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.